Hi, this is Ryan at True Audio, and I'm with Tino from K Tech. And we're going to talk about the new Mighty Boom Poles. Hey, Tino. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to have you. So today I would like to show you our new Mighty Boom Pole, which is kind of still the same like before, but we changed a very significant feature, um, and that's the removable headpiece. Mm -hmm. You know how we first came out finally with a removable headpiece, but you still had to use a tool, like a little Allen wrench and a little tiny set screw, and you had to deal with that? I was annoyed by that since it came out. I mean, it was a great feature because you could finally do it without soldering. But I know how it is when you're on a set and you drop a tool, especially when it's little. Or the screw, which is even worse. The yeah. tool you can replace, the screw, find the right one in the right moment, never a That's why we have a drawer of them out on the sales floor. Exactly. <laughs> so we now have the, um, the removable headpiece without a tool. It goes even faster. You know, have no risk of losing anything. And it works perfectly. And that way we can replace a cable or remove a cable if we're going wireless uh, without the need of a soldering iron. Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's and you great. can always reuse the same cable without shortening it because you have to constantly cut it. <laughs> right. Well, that's great. Uh, so I would like to point out that someone who is a little longer in this industry might remember our stage poles. Okay. They had the same design. I should say the same concept. We switched a little bit the design around. We manipulated a little bit the shape and details on certain parts mm -hmm. and made it much better than back then. So not only is it easy to work with the end of the pole, but mm -hmm. the base of the pole is also changeable. So you can have no cable, you can have uh, a standard side exit, or you can have uh, the KTA2, which uh, gives you a right angle for the wireless transmitter. That's correct. Only that now the KTA2 is called the KPTA2. Sorry to, for the confusion. <laughs> KPTA2, got it. Because uh, it's a classic pro, right? Classic not the pro, classic of anymore. course, yeah. yeah. And, and it's got a slightly wider diameter. Yes. Uh, so not only is the, the end of the pole easy to work with, but you mm -hmm. can also replace the, the base. So you can go yeah. with no cable, you can go with a side exit, or you can use the KPT2. Yes. KPT2. You can go with the KPT2 and put a wireless transmitter down there. That's correct. So what you do is basically you just take the knuckle on the bottom, you unscrew it, then there's a TA3 adapter in there, you unplug that, and then you plug in whatever you need, and you tighten it, and you're done. Once again, solderless. So you have the solderless. fastest cable change yeah. in the field that you can possibly have. Now you can actually also have a spare cable in, re in case really your cable goes bad, and you can have it exchanged without soldering and fast. Oh, just something to keep in the kit yeah. for those inevitable emergencies. I'm coming, sorry, I don't want to admit to that, but I'm coming from the camera side. And I learned when you're on a set working with a camera, you always have cables separate as a spare because cables are usually the weakest spot on the gear. Mm -hmm. So that's the same for the boom pole. So Absolutely. if that creates some trouble and you have a spare cable, you're done in a minute to exchange the cable without having to use any ex extra tools. Yeah, unfortunately with cables, you know, they're like car tires. It's yes. not a question of if they're going to fail, it's a question it of when they're going to fail. That's correct. I might add that our cables last longer. And, and, and you do, you make excellent cables. In fact, uh, the Mighty Boom cable, the coiled mm -hmm. cable you make, mm -hmm. uh, ha explain it to me, it has extra connectors in it to make it more reliable? Well, the connectors itself is still the same, but every um, uh, wire is doubled. So you have, instead of three, you have six wires in there. And in case there's anything inside cracking or start cracking, you're still safe. Yeah, built-in backup. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a very solid cable, which lasts you. I, I, I mean, I would give my word for that. If you have a cable which breaks within three years, I'd replace it without asking. You heard it here. <laughs> um, and I notice you, you have your own custom XLR connector on the end of this. Yes, this is our new uh, XLR low profile connector, which has been in the market for a little bit with the new uh, classic Pro Pole back in the days. When we switched the name to Mighty Boom, um, the connector stayed the same. But what we're adding now is um, this is the female, and we're going to have a, a male connector as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So then you can go into the bags, and um, there are, I should mention, they're easy um, uh, to work on. There's two screws left and right. You just take them out. The cap comes off, and you have full access to the 
to the connector points in the, in the, in the connector. And can I rotate the connector to, to yes, control the direction uh, of the cable? I heard recently a wonderful word. It's clockable. Clockable? Clockable. Learn something new every day. <laughs> clockable. I like that. So like right now, it's at 12 o'clock. I could put it to 3 or 6 or yes. 7.30. Yeah, you got about, I think, I, wanted li I don't want to lie, but I think it's 12 increments where you, which you have to turn around. Oh, that's amazing. Tino, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. This is Ryan with True Audio. If you like the K-Tech Mighty Boom Pole, make sure to click like. Uh, to see future videos, make sure to subscribe. This is Ryan at True Audio. We know what it's like out there. Have a great afternoon.